Hi and welcome to another Frivolous webisode. Today I'm bringing you for the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick Challenge Velvet Myth, which is a deep berry-ish rose. And because I did so well with Skyscraper Rose, at least I think, I was a bit challenged on what to do with this colour because I love it. I love it on its own, on me. It's just a gorgeous colour. But yeah, this is what I came up with. I hope you enjoy. I'll do a voiceover of the tutorial because it was noisy. That's all I can say. And uh, yeah, thank you for being there. And uh, drop me some comments, say hi, some likes, share my channel if you'd like, and subscribe. And thank you for spending your time on me. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Roll the tape. Today I decided to show you my base also. Here we go, this is the Dior Backstage Foundation and because it's a bit too dark for me right now, I decided to mix the One Drop Coverage Concealer by Catrice. They are very similar in terms of texture, so yeah. I used it to lighten the foundation a little bit. And I'm applying it with my fingers, the brush, and then I'm gonna go and buff it in uh, a little bit more with the sponge but basically this is a very thin coverage foundation that I use when my skin is fairly good which is the case today and you can actually build it up a little bit more but I didn't feel the need so yeah and I'm not putting anything on my forehead because there's no discoloration there and I'm using a little bit more of the mix on my under eyes because I have a lot of discoloration on that area and then I'm gonna go with just the concealer just to add a little bit more brightness on the darkest area of my eyes. Next I'm gonna go with powder which has become a must-have on these mask days but anyway, this foundation is satin matte, I would say, and this will set it. And I'm just going on the areas where I feel I really need it. And I'm not going to apply it under the eyes because it would be a crepey mess. An oldie but a goodie. This is Hula Bronzer. And I like the fact that it's not too warm on my skin, on, on my skin tone. And it provides a bit of contour. It may be a bit too grey for some people, but for me it's the right balance between very warm and cool toned. And because of that, I can achieve a bit of a contoured look, but with the enough amount of warmth to look a bit more bronzed. I really like to take this one out of the drawers once in a while because it's a really good one. And it's a mini! It's more affordable and it's lasted me for a long time. I just gently keep on building it up and yes, I do bronze my nose. Let's open up this baby velvet myth by Lisa Eldridge, the star of the show. I'm just applying it, dotting it on my lips and then I'll fine tune uh, the rest of the application with a brush, but I'm going to try to keep it slightly, not smudged, but blurred and I'm not going to build too much the intensity for now. Now, these are beautiful blushes that I've recently discovered and nobody talks about them. I don't know, maybe it's because they're too old, but they're just gorgeous. These are the Becca Luminous Blushes and they just give you a kind of highlighted look with the color. I bought one on a sale online at Sephora and I'm addicted to it and I want to buy the whole collection. That's how much I love these. And yes, I do apply a little bit on the nose and I find this pinky shade to be perfect to give you that fresh and springy look. And yes, I'm using this on my lids because I just wanted a wash of the same color all over my face without making me just look like a pink thing <laughs> but yeah just a wash of this on the lids and I sort of built it up a little bit on the outer corner but nothing too extreme and yes I'm coming in with a very old classic this is the modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna use Venetian red uh, for this and this is where I went a bit more edgy I just decided to concentrate the highlight of the look 
on the lower lash line. So I just went with Venetian red on a pencil brush along my uh, lower lash line. And if your eyes can handle it, you can expand it and create sort of an inverted um, wing look. Uh, unfortunately, I tried, but on me, I just thought it would be too conceptual, I would say. So I decided to then blend out a little bit the outer corners so it didn't look too much. <laughs> Then to balance the intensity on the lower lash line, I'm gonna go with a generous amount of mascara on the top lashes. And then I'm gonna go with a berry kind of pencil on my inner rim. And this one has been discontinued and the name has been rubbed off, but I found a similar one from ColourPop. It's called Charmer and it's basically around the same color. And you can try and find something similar at Kiko also. A bit of brow mascara just to pretend I tried to do something with them but yeah and then I'm just going to reapply a bit more color this can be adjusted to whatever you'd like and I'm going to keep on blurring the edges especially on the lower lip and I'm basically done and I hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a sign of life on the comments below and thank you for being there and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!